Hi guys, welcome back to the Bam Family. This is our eight worst things about where we live in Queensland, Australia. About to see the world in action, what we can be. Life with no distractions, we'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. Vlog, we just want to say that we love where we live so if anyone takes this the wrong way it's just meant as a bit of fun we have to laugh off the things that aren't so good as well as the things that are amazing number one is magpies so you wouldn't think it. it's not something I ever thought about before we moved here and to be honest I kind of laughed thinking it was a joke I saw all the cyclists riding round with the um, cable ties on their helmets and I thought oh well they look very strange um, but I didn't really get why and then we started receiving emails from one of the girls schools with warnings that, that it was magpie season and how to protect them and ourselves on the walk to school so <laughs> it, it's very real they swoop and attack you I've had it with it with the girls um, we went and had a picnic in the park and um, we didn't realize it was nesting season so we're sitting there and a bird's come at us thought nothing of it shoot it away by I don't know four or five minutes later we've literally got 50 magpies surrounding us wanting our food so kind of brewed the food down and ran to the car because <laughs> I was just swooping in trying to get the food out of us this was not long after we'd moved as well so the girls were still very little yeah me I was only two when we moved and Ella was three so yes magpies is number one of things that you wouldn't expect that are the worst things about where we live those black and white villains Yes. <laughs> Number two is bushfires. Yeah, no one likes their bush on fire. Oh my God. See what I have to work with. <laughs> so, <laughs> let's bring this back. So before we moved over, we went on a recce and we asked a real estate agent, is this area prone to bushfires? I thought it was a ridiculous question to be honest. I was like, oh my God, I feel a bit embarrassed asking this because- um, It just sounds you know, like English people moving in being scared of everything about Australia. Yeah, we'd seen, we'd, we didn't really know much about it. But yeah, it is a real thing. We've had loads of bushfires, probably about- uh, Six I'd say. Six maybe since we've been here in five years. Two major ones um, where you are told to evacuate your home and you you don't realize but you lose things like internet you lose things like your phone signal so you know when it gets to that i think i had to go out the next day to a different suburb to be able to message my family to tell them that i was safe because they'd seen all about it on the news um but i couldn't contact them to tell them i was okay so i was getting messages that i didn't know about but i was getting messages and i wasn't answering people we got very lucky because the servo near us nearly went up in flames. It was just short of um, that going up. Yeah. And that would have been a major explosion then. Yes. So you've got to have a bushfire plan in place. You've got, to, you've got to have all these measures in place to protect you. And you've got to listen. So the next one is a slightly more humorous one. Number three. <laughs> so number three is the jumping spiders and cockroaches. <laughs> So the first time we had a big spider in our house, I was sitting at the dining table. Ben was trying to catch the big, massive spider. <laughs> yeah, it's about the same size as my hand. So you represent, she's got a little head, I have a big <laughs> hand. Spider was the size of my palm. Yes. Huntsman spider, I believe it was. And anyway, so I'm watching Ben whilst I'm eating my dinner. Laughing. <laughs> 
and then why she's eating it. And then the, the spider starts jumping when he's trying to catch it. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah, every time I was getting close, it'd jump, and then I'd have to hunt it down again. But also the co the cockroaches sometimes fly as well, so you think you're going to catch them, and all of a sudden, <laughs> yeah, yeah, we always sort of thought um, cockroaches were a dirty thing, like if you lived in a dirty house and that, but that's not true. Yeah, um, they're just everywhere here. Yeah, um, the it's flying a ones are a nightmare. Flying ones, yeah, are definitely the nightmare ones. <laughs> Number four is cane toads. Dirty, dirty vermin. They're gross brown toads that spit poison and get your dog sick. So dogs love licking them because they get them high, but they're so dangerous um, because they make your dog very sick if your dog licks them. They're just gross and um, very dangerous for other animals. So no cane toads. Yeah. Same as the trolls. Take the trolls, take the cane toads. Yeah. Go find a new home. <laughs> I like that. We're actually we're actually aligning cane toads in the same place as we align online trolls. Yeah, they're all Gross. things that no one likes and yeah. they're poisonous. Yeah. Bye. Bye. So number five is the jellyfish. <laughs> <laughs> just just like that. <laughs> so you're swimming in the ocean. <laughs> All of a sudden you're in so much pain because you've been stung by a, je a jellyfish. Yeah, and this isn't an episode of Friends, so no one's going to be weeing on you to get rid of the um, infection or poison, yeah. whatever you want to call it's it. It's just very sore and you just, you just make sure you swim in the flags so that you've got the lifeguards there to help you. Because some of them can obviously kill you. Yes. Yeah, when we went to the Grey Barrier Reef, we actually had to swim wearing full-on suits. Um, I have to put a picture uh, of this up. Yeah. <laughs> we looked cute as. Lily has been stung, I think was it by a brown jellyfish when she was, um, she was, used to do nippers when she was younger and she got stung by a jellyfish. Number six is the inconvenience of getting things delivered. So we were in the UK, we were used to next day delivery on everything. Sometimes so, same, uh, same day delivery. Yeah and here it can be a week it could even be a month if it's coming from wa not even that it's the expense as well because yeah. you do get charged for delivery yeah pretty much on everything we, we yeah. just weren't used to paying for delivery fees and we weren't used to paying expensive delivery fees i guess yeah the, everything's got a long way to travel number seven seven is the extreme weather so as you know, I put on, if you follow us on Instagram. You should. Yeah, at the Bam Famalam, no, which way are we no, pointing No, we're pointing it? on the screen still, um, not like you. Just I know, but it, some, it depends where I put it when I'm editing. Well, go for the space. Right, no, that's my, my nose. Yes. <laughs> um. <laughs> just here <laughs> is the link for our Instagram. We probably shouldn't be on YouTube. <laughs> she shouldn't. Extreme weather. So if you see our Instagram, you'll see on our stories, I film really beautiful things. So I film the beaches um, and it, it's always blue skies and sunshine most of the time. I like today. Like 95% of the time it is beautifully blue and sunny and gorgeous and lovely. Anyway, when there's bad weather, it's really bad the rain comes down and causes flash flooding so then you can't drive anywhere because a it's unsafe to drive in that weather where you can't see anything and also because the road has flooded and you can't see what's underneath and then you can't drive it's just always extreme of everything you have if yeah. it's going to be sunny it's going to be blistering hot yeah uh, if it's going to rain it's going to be noah's arcs turning up in the next half hour <laughs> If it hails, you get tennis balls of hail coming down and belting you. So you don't want to be out in that. Yeah, don't get belted. We've not quite had a full-on cyclone. We've no. had the end of a cyclone. Tail end of uh, yeah. Cyclone Debbie. Cyclone was, Debbie. And that was within the first six months of us moving here. And at that point, we're thinking, did we really make a right <laughs> choice here? We had a tree down, didn't we? 
Yeah, blew our palm tree down. Lightning storms, we've had quite a lot of, well, we've actually oh. had tons of those. The most extreme we've had with a lightning storm near us is next door neighbor's water container. Oh, like got you, struck. You, yeah, it got hit by lightning and it went in half. Yeah, that was so, it was quite funny because the Wasn't lightning, well, the lightning storm happened. It hit the neighbor's water tank and bent it in half. They got a new one. And as soon as they got a new one, Debbie, the cyclone came and blew our um, palm tree onto oh, their water there. tank. Number eight, and we don't want to offend anyone. So I'm scared to say this, but it's the driving. Oh my God, no one says thank you. <laughs> it's not about that. <laughs> oh my <laughs> God, they don't say thank you. The worst thing about driving in Australia is the tailgating. Um, Coming from Europe, it's a very different driving scene. Um, but here, tailgating's the worst thing ever. Um, you'll get the road trains. If you're in, what well, we're, we're calling it the slow lane. If you're in a slow lane, the road train will come the left up, lane. <laughs> up so close, you cannot see anything but shiny, Heaven. <laughs> shiny grill. <She's> like <laughs> and then they will overtake you and you're thinking <gasps> and then you're getting a heartbeat in your butt yeah it's yeah uh, and you'll find car parks they no one looks behind them before they pull backwards yeah um, if they're if people are reversing out they just reverse if you're behind them too bad yeah, you so. just have to expect that the driver who's about to pull out is not going to check first yeah i don't know let's make this clear i don't know if it's just where we are because it's rural and people aren't used to having to look around and parallel park and things like that i don't know if it's different in the cities with you guys from melbourne sydney adelaide perth but Brisbane. definitely definitely where we are definitely where we are <laughs> It's an adventure. Mm -hmm, yeah. So please like this video and hit that subscribe button. We've linked more videos that you might enjoy in the description. So feel free to head there and have a look through and see if there's anything else you fancy watching. See you next week.